Ayan, good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. Um, very good closing kaya yes, from yesterday and kaya because of that, it's a very good morning. Pasensya na, uh, kakagising ko lang. I wasn't really active sa chat room. Um, just woke up because ang aga ko, um, we went to the airport early in the morning. Anyways, uh, still, nonetheless, a very good morning to everyone. Good morning to my daughter, Laika. And then, also, today we're gonna be talking about how to check the fundamentals of a company. And very important how to check the fundamentals of a company. Since anyway, it's still ano, it's still uh, a bearish market. At least mag-aralan niyo yung mga fundamentals ng company uh, before you wanna get in. So if you just ch- watch the replay of this video, please um, move forward to 25 minutes. Um, the discussion will start there and so it's around 8 4 that's around 8 40 in the morning uh, first part of the video we're gonna be talking uh we're gonna i'm gonna be reading your comments uh if you have anything to talk uh if you want have if you have any questions if you want uh suggestions uh even i uh, know um imp- improvements if you want improvements a program post it in the comments so uh, we'll read it right in a while right in your own partner program at 8 40 in the morning we'll have our discussion we'll talk about ism also kasi marami pa rin natatakot sa ism and the market overall which is red we'll talk about that and um, Lastly is mga charting, right? I wasn't able to really study the charts of the stocks today, but it's a very bearish market, so I don't want you guys to try, uh, to be aggressive to be aggressive yet. So relax lang muna tayo with the charts, right? Uh, it's not the right time to be aggressive. Um, first up, please share the video. Paki share ang video sa walls niyo and to your trading groups. Uh, that will greatly help. Uh, the channel, right? That will greatly help financial freedom. Laki ng tulong yan sa atin. And also, especially sa stock market, right? It, this will feed the curiosity of your friends to start in the stock market. Ayan. So, let's start. Joel Legales, good morning. Uy, una na naman si Joel Legales. Napaka, uh, napaka, what they call this, uh, early bird talaga ni Joel Legales. Good morning, Sir, Li- L- Sir Lloyd and Laika Hops. Good morning, Roy Minao. Good morning, Sir Lloyd from South Korea. Wala pa tulog. Alright, uh, <laughs> hindi pa natutulog si Roy Minaw. Um, Sherwin, good morning, sir and Laika. Thank you. Hops, insights sana kay PSEI. Still very red. Um, uh, we're affected with the Dow Jones. So, uh, that's the thing. And mura na sana. It's just that. Um, number one, uh, we'll talk about PSEI. Sige, all, along the way. Bakit bumagsak? Number one, Dow Jones, foreign investors. I posted about this yesterday. Grabe pa ang foreign selling, di ba? So, walang investor. Number two, ang mga Pinoy investors wala sa stock market na kay ISM. <laughs> right? So, walang PSEI talaga kay bumabagsak ang stock market. But we can't... Uh, uh, yun. Um, uh, yun. Isa yun sa, ano, uh, isa yun sa reason bakit bumabagsak. Also, I want to send my greetings. Ito, may utang ako sa grupong ito. Association of Traders and Investors in Rome, Italy. From Joe Largado. Good morning sa inyo. Ayan, nakikinig sila laki sa atin. That's a very good group. Very interesting group. I'll, I hope pag nakamunta ako ng Italy, makita ko kayo ha. <laughs> right, so good morning sa inyo. Addison, good morning. Um, yun, yun sabi, sabi ko nga, PSEI, bakit bumabagsak? Walang investors, no foreign investors. Ang mga Pinoy na investors na kay ASM, nakatutok lahat. So, yun, bumabagsak ang market na bumabagsak. Um, overall, walang investors talaga. That's why I don't want you to be aggressive. Let the market do its thing, right? Kung babagsak man yan, then good. If you have investing stocks, let it drop. This is your opportunity to buy more. Stock market is about volume. Kung mas marami kang hawak, the richer you become. It's not about the price, right? It's about the volume. Para kung malaki na ang volume mo, pag gumalaw man lang yan ng 1%, kung may 1 million ka sa stock na yan, may 10K ka kagad, right? It's really about volume. This is your opportunity to put volume in it. Don't worry about companies na fundamentally good even it's going down, right? We'll talk more about that. Um, Addison C, good morning. Bull and Bear, good day coach. Advisable po ba na mag-backtest sa 1-minute chart? Thanks. Um, you can, just to test out your technical analysis. But again, um, technical analysis is perfect on a bullish market, right? Ang, uh, hindi naman siya perfect. It's, what I meant by per- perfect is, saan siya napakagandang gamitin. You use it on a bullish market. Nakita niyo naman si ISM. It's a bullish market. 
technical anal- technical analysis in one minute works there. I've done that last ano nung araw na release uh, nag nagbidding, 'di ba? So, kaso nga lang lately I've been very busy, meron ako mga errands na ginagawa. So, I haven't been able to really intraday trade ulit. But that's okay. Pero nakikita niyo naman um technical analysis uh, has a very good chance of working in a bullish market. So, one minute charts tignan niyo 'yan. Pwede niyo i-test 'yan, right? Nakikita niyo kaya sa miyan. Um, you can apply it sa mga ab- ibang stocks pag bullish rin ang market, right? I tell you guys, uh, napakahirap talaga ang gumana ng technical analysis um, when it comes to uh, a bearish market kasi hindi nagsusustain yung growth kasi nagchuchupitan kaagad ang mga tao, right? And then, when they sell off, the stocks just go down. Bull and bear, great coach, advisable po ba na mag That's good. It's advisable, yes. Especially if you wanna check out the 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 trend of especially ISM. Pwede mo i-backtest ang one-minute chart ni ISM. Makikita mo kahapon ang resistance, grabe ang resistance, then bumagsak, and then you can see reversals, and then retracements. Ang ganda ng one-minute chart ng ISM. Ops, sobra focus natin sa ISM. Nakalimutan ko na PSEI. Yes, definitely. Yan yung isang rason. Kaya nga, nabuburingan mo na ako sa PSEI ngayon. Eh, timing din naman. Busy ako. At least, nakapasok na ako sa ISM. So, wala ang gaanong stress <laughs> sa trade ngayon, sa stock market ngayon. Bull and bear, good day coach advisable po ba na mag backtest ayun nabasa ko na pala yan hops uh, uh, need ko mag average down sa equity fund yes anytime soon pero about averaging down I strong, strongly recommend averaging down pag reversal na wag kayong mag average mag average down na nag nanguhula kayo sa stock market sa bottom nila right wag wag ganun wag niyo huhulaan ang bottom it's really hard to do that right um, just do that on a reversal hops um Christian Andrew De La Cruz. Let me double check my audio. Okay mm-hmm. naman na ng technical analysis. Right, okay lang naman. Um, Mark Cortez, good morning. Um, Christian Andrew, good morning then. Um, Hops, will it break further to 6.5 with the current trend right now? Uh, I think it will. Right? Um, ano, masyado mababa na 6.5. 6.8 is our support naman eh. So, PSEI. 6.8 is our support. Uh, we're still at 6.843. Hindi pa naman na bridge yung support na yan. So, um, hopefully it holds, right? 6.8 is our support. Pag nag-break yan, yes, possible. Bumaba pa ng 6.5 uh, to 6.6 yan. But as of the moment, hindi pa naman. So, nothing to worry about. Actually, yan. Nothing to really worry about. Huwag muna kayo mag-worry. Gaano, right? Um, asa na ako? Miss on your supports, mukhang malabo na mag-file ng appeal sa NTC, CC, or NPTNT. However, if CR files a court case with assurance to of a TRO, be possible to stop the pronouncement of ISM as winner. Uh, we'll talk about that. Very good, very good, ano, very good topic, Hops. Right? Uh, however, if CR files a court case with will issuance of the TRO, be possible to stop pronouncement of the ISM as winner. We'll talk about that in a bit, right? John Paul Rodriguez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Anong maging effect ng FOO surprise ng ISM? We talked about that yesterday, John Paul, right? Just a little review. Mag, pag mag-FOO, usually bumabagsak ang, um, uh, ang presyo ng isang stock, but not all the time. Tignan nyo si FB, nag-FOO ng 85. It's still sustaining the price. So, so walang problema, right? Um, doesn't, doesn't really matter, especially if, if napakaganda naman ng company. Number two, FOO, yes, babagsak man yan siya. There's a possibility na babagsak. But if I was Dennis Uy, am I gonna FOO at a low price? I'm gonna wait for my price to peak. Pag na-announce kami, lilipad yung presyo ko. Siguro mga 200. Pero um, lagay lang natin sa mga 20 pesos. Right? Pag, naglabas, um, pag naglabas sila ng FOO ng 20 pesos, siguro nasa 17 pesos yung FOO nila. 17 pesos compared to price now, still high. right? Um, it, it should not stop. Your purpose of getting in ISM, right? The FO, you're stopping your gains because of something that's not happening yet. Come on, we're risk takers. We are investing because we're taking risks. Take risk with it. Wag kayo matakot because just because um just because uh of something you that might happen that hasn't happened yet. Diba? That's not good. That's not good as a trader. Sige, pwede ko yung pumasok. May FOO man, if natatakot ka, you can always sell half and then buy more at the at the price na kung saan siya babagsak. There's always a solution to any fear, right, in the stock market. You just know how to do it. That's one of my re- uh, That's one of my lessons sa workshop. Um, kaya natututo yung mga students ko. Um, 
speaking of the workshop, I have a workshop this Friday and Saturday evening, 8 p.m. If you want to join it, right, I, I, I really advise you to join it so that you can take advantage of bullish moves like this. The market is still red, so it's the best time to study. Invest in yourself. Napakalit lang na investment on my seminars. Um, but you're gonna be independent, I tell you. Napakaganda ng workshop. Don't take my word for it. Take, uh, check nyo yung mga testimonials ng mga students ko andun sa Financial Freedom 101 um, the, the, ano, the testimonials nasa ratings, right? You can check it out. Ano sinasabi ng mga students? Pag, hindi yung, I, alam ko, pwede kayong libre lang matuto ng trading. I was like that. Libre lang ako natuto ng trading. But it took me quite a while and a f- he- hefty loss to really learn my craft, right? If you want a shortcut, suwerte nyo, may workshop na ganito, napakamura noon. I was forced really to learn by myself kasi napakamahal na mga workshops noon. Tiga hundred thousand. Oh my God. <laughs> right. So yeah, that's why I made this workshop uh, na mura. Because I really, kasi I feel uh, how those people nagsisimula na wala namang gaanong pera talaga feels. Right. So kaya napakamura na workshop. Send me a message if you want to join that. Right? Um, take advantage of the bullish market. Hindi yung bullish market na nag-aaral pa lang kayo at nangangapa pa lang kayo. Sayang naman yung pera na kikitain ninyo. Sayang yung kinikita nyo kay ISM. Dapat kumikita na kayo kay ISM ngayon. Anyways, um, yeah, going con- uh, continuing sa FOO yan. Again, don't let, don't be too peer- fearful. Right? Being fearful is okay, but sobrang Sobrang fearful naman, you're gonna miss out. Alright, Glenn Lopez, morning guys, good morning then. Yay, 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 good morning. Mga fellow future millionaires, good morning then. Glenn Lopez, let's get rich together. Totoo yan, let's get rich together. Alright, uh, STV Trader, sir, good morning. ISM, Bcor and ATN. I'm gonna write these down. Si Bcor and ATN. Uh, let's check out the charts nila. Um, hindi ako charting ngayon. Was very busy uh, the past few days. Um, thanks. Alright, JC Cruz, pa shout out naman po. JC Cruz, 62, good morning sa'yo. Angelo Rubia, hey Sir Lloyd, ano pong platform gamit nyo sa pag-import and filter po ng stocks to pick nyo everyday? Actually, hindi ako nag-filter. I don't use filters. I have my own watch list. It's just that malaki ang watch list ko because I have to look at all stocks. So I have to daily manually look at these stocks everyday so that wala kayong mamiss. Ang hirap ng filter kasi, marami kayong mamimiss, I tell you. Yes, maganda filter. It filters out sino yung mga nasa support. But uh, I tell you, mamimiss nyo yung mga stocks na totoong alam nyo talaga ang fundamentals. Right? So, I have a own, uh, my own list of companies na fundamentally good, which is with what our topic will be today about fundamentals. And then, yun, yun yung tinitignan ko every day. Right? I also teach in my workshop how to make your watch list, how to handle your watch list. Alright, so, Wang Buntag Sir Lloyd from Taiwan. From, this is from June Sernal. Alright, good morning. Um, Ronald, uh, Rolando Naganhon. Junior, Wang Buntag Sir Lloyd. Kum, Kumbati na sa daron, kumbati na sad. Alright. Junker Dalosario, good morning from Dubai. Ayan, magandang umaga sa mga patid natin. Mga OFWs na sa Dubai. Hopefully, this fru- uh, um, this comes into fruition. So, mga first quarter, punta ako ng UAE. Mag-world tour na ang Financial Freedom 101. Hopefully, this uh, this happens. Right? Um, I'm looking for organizers then, Kasi na tutulong right, for the events there. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about trading. We'll talk about how to become an independent trader. Right? That's my advocacy. I don't want na newbies na nga nga pa. Lagi sa dilim. Punta ng punta sa mga groups. Eh, nasa mga groups, ang daming mag-hype. At ayun, nalulugi. Right? I don't want that to happen. That's why I have the workshop. MC Butete, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Yeah, mga students ko nandito ngayon, tell them how good the workshop is. Right? Uh, lagay nyo sa comments. MC Butete, good morning, Sir Lloyd. MC Butete is one of my students. I just forget anong batch na. Sobrang dami na eh. Right? Um, JC Cruz, Vul and Green, please. Uh, let's check out Vulcan and Green um, from JC Cruz. And Vulcan and Green. Charito Santos, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Curious lang ako sa Miss Latel. Mukhang may issue sa Senate about national security. Ayan. Um, kahit, na, kahit sino naman maging third tell ko, basta may foreign partner. It's always an issue about national security. Don't worry about national security because we're gonna be controlling majority of the ano, of the system. Right? Si, uh, si China Tel is gonna be a funder and then consultant. 
pera lang and consultancy ang gagawin ni Ms. Latel, right? Uh, they're gonna be training our personal personnel here. Hindi yan controlled ng China, right? We are going to control it, right? That's not gonna be a, uh, that's not, it is a possible problem, but the government is not, is not crazy to do, to, to really, uh, 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 surrender our national security. There will be parameters to it, talaga. Right? That's not a problem, right? Again, we're we're scaring ourselves for something that hasn't happened yet, and which is ma control naman yan. That's really controllable naman. Ella Montefalco, good morning sa lahat. Roy Mina, anong gusto ng Senate? Pinoy na naman ang maghandle. You saw how Pinoy handles the telco, right? We saw that for how many years, right? So, yun. Um, malaking problema talaga yan kung Pinoy lang mga handle. Right? Ella Montefalco, good morning sa lahat. Roy Minyao. Sir Lloyd, ask ko lang po anong techniques para mabilis ma-execute sa pag-buy and sell sa stocks sa mga momentum traders. Ah, uh, lesson ko yan sa seminar. Dapat mag-join ka ng seminar. <laughs> Roy Minyao. Right? Um, basta, the technique really is tingnan mo lang kaagad yung um, tingnan mo lang kaagad yung supply and demand. Tignan mo yung sino yung nagbibili, yun yung lalagay mo. Tignan mo yung sino yung nagbibenta, yung, anong presyo, yun yung lagay, yung lalagay mo. Right? And then, hopefully, your platform is good. Isa yun sa technique. Hopefully, your platform is good. Hindi si call. Especially if, ano, um, nag intraday trade kayo, don't use call as much as possible. Nothing against call. It's a very good platform, especially for investors. It's just that, for traders, especially me, I don't like it kasi sobrang dami ninyo, sobrang dami ninyo magsasubmit ng order, ang ending, nasa huli pa yung order ninyo. Paano pag uh, 1.0, kailangan mo na magbenta, benta mo pa 1.0, ang dami nyo yung nakabenta at 1.0, right? So, mahuli ka talaga. Right? Ella Montefalco, good morning sa lahat. Roy Minyao, Sir Lloyd, kulang po, ano, um, kulang po anong mga techniques para mabilis, ah, are we, are we, Right, that's from Roy. Um, Gerald Mel Alvaran, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like a good bless po. God bless to you too. Michelle Ubaldo, good morning. Michelle is one of my batch one students, right? Good morning, Sir Michelle. All right, Christian Tuazon Mikwa, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like a sell half na ba ISM? Up to you, right? Up to you. I right? can't really tell. Ang pala guys, sa mga kakapasok lang, please share the videos. Pakishare po sa walls ninyo in your, tra- in your trading groups para malaman ng mga students, ang mga newbies especially. Yung topic natin ngayon is about fundamentals. This is for them. All right, Christian Tuazon, Mikwa, good morning. Sa left na ba kay ISM? Actually, ako, I'm still holding. Right? As long as walang bad news na, super bad news na Miss Latel is suspended, I'm not gonna sell. Right? Yun lang. Alright. It's up to you. Uh, yung iba kasi, kabado. It's, I understand that, especially sa mga newbies. Kung kabado kayo, the technique para is really bawasan ninyo yung kaba ninyo. I know some of you, this is your first time winning this much in the stock, kaya ISM. So, I know the feeling. Right? This is something new to you. So, don't, you don't really know how to handle this emotion. Bawasan nyo yung emotion by selling half. Let the other half ride. Right? I know, manghihinayang din kayo. At least, ma, um, kung aakit man yan. But at least, nakapag-secured kayo ng earnings. That's the important part. Right? What's important uh, is, you're still in the in the trade. Para kung manalo pa siya na malaki, hindi naman kayo na-out sa, sa trade. Right? That's the important part. So, you can sell half if the position is already making you uncomfortable. Right? Iba kasi yung comfort level natin. Iba yung risk appetite per person. For me, maybe it's still okay for me. Okay lang sa akin na bumaba pa yun at mag-pullback. But to others, especially yung mga newbies, not yung panghihinayang um, kakainin yung utak nyo niyan. So, just sell half at least uh, mabawasan yung emotion ninyo. Right, that's my recommendation. Joseph Cortez, my buntag, Sir Lloyd. Salamat sa araw-araw na pag-guide mo sa amin. Magkano po yung webinar, Sir? Um, naka-attend ako sa Manila. Same lang po ba ang turo? Yes, more or less the same lang naman, Joseph. Right? Um, send me a message if you wanna join the webinar. Yung nasa Manila, um, you can you have access to the replay naman eh. So, don't worry about it. Jason Rogado, uh, good morning, Sir. Ano po ang advantage ng nanalong third telco compare sa ibang telco players? Number one. Um, they're gonna have the full support of the government. Malaki ang, uh, what do you call this? An- malaki yung mga bandwidths na mahawakan nila. So, mas malaking data ang mabibigay nila. Number two, pag si China Telco ang nangyari, ang um, mananalo. Dati kasi, monopolized ni PLDT. Kahit si Globe, nakakoconnect kay PLDT yan for their grid, for their connection, for the internet. Si Globe, nagbabayad yan kay PLDT. So, 
kung gusto ni PLDT na bumagal sa globe, kaya nilang gawin. <laughs> right? Yan yung problema. Right? So, an advantage ng third telco, they will have direct access to the grid. Um, pwede silang um, uh, hindi na makakontrol na iba yung, yung, uh, yung speed nila. Um, also, if China wants to, they can have their own grid. Mas mabili, kung kailangan talaga mas mabilis pa na internet at hindi, kaila, hindi kaya ng ng own uh, internet connection natin, they can run their own connection to us directly sa country so that we'll have access to faster internet. Mas malaking, uh, mas malaking bandwidth and much faster. So that's the advantage of the third telco talaga. Right? And yun, um, cell sites, um, they will have access agad sa mga... Ang problema kasi sa cell sites, the biggest problem about cell sites is not really the construction. It's really... Yung lupa, yung lupa na paglalagyan, the government can give them uh, special access to lands para malagyan ng cell site kaagad. That's one of the biggest advantage of the third telco. The government will back it up. So, ang bilis lang, napakabilis ng deployment na mangyayari sa kanila. So, jo, uh, Jason Regado, so good morning sir. Ano pong advantage ng, ng, ng third telco sa ibang telco? Yan. Those are some of the advantages. Um... Siguro gagawa ko na episode in the future ano yung ano, yeah, to list down all the advantages that the third telco will have. Ang dami ko na naririnig na comments ngayon na PLDT has been calling them para i-upgrade na yung line nila to fiber na libre. So ang dami na. So that's this is what I'm talking about. Um, it's not about kung ma ma mabibigay ka agad ni Miss Letel sa akin yung connection. It's about the challenge it imposes to the other telco, si PLDT, si Globe na pipilitin ng Magmura, libre na ang fiber, upgrade, ayan. So, they will be taking care of us better. This is what President Duterte was demanding from them before. Kung hindi nila ibibigay ito, he will create a third telco who can give it to the Filipinos kung ayaw ibigay ng PLDT and Globe. And now, if PLDT, doesn't, PLDT has the challenge to keep their, uh, ano, keep, to keep their, uh, PLDT and Globe has the, have that challenge to keep their clients kasi pag mawala ang mga clients nila, patay sila. Right? So, re they really have to take care of their clients now. Good customer service, uh, lahat mabilis, um, mabilis ang technicals, lahat. So, that's the biggest uh, that's the biggest advantage that the third telco will be giving to the Filipinos. Right? Nika Gutierrez, good morning Sir Lloyd and your family from Biliran. Wow, from Biliran. Good morning sa inyo dyan and to your family. Nika Gutierrez, Rolando Naganhon. Insights kay JFC Sir Lloyd. Let's write down JFC. Sulat natin si JFC. One moment please. Uh, JFC. Kamustahin natin ang mga blue chips na ito. Nakaolang gana pa si FJSEI lately. Albert Kasing, Maing Buntag. Um, Benji Gloria, maupay na aga. Maupay na aga din sa inyo. Lloyd, magkano po ba ang opening ng Timson? Ang opening ng Timson is 100,000. Um, it's double-edged yun eh. It's a good advantage and it's a disadvantage. And disadvantage sa mga karamihan ng mga Pinoy, mahirap magsimula with 100,000. Diba? The good advantage of it is sa mga naka-afford naka naman, the exclusivity. Alam nyo si Cole, kaya, kaya 5,000 kasi sobrang um, maganda kasi madalas mag-open. Disadvantage of it is sobrang dami namang tao na sa Cole. Kaya naglalag si Cole if ever crunch time. Right? So, yun. Um, yun yung advantage ni Timson. Kasi 100,000 konti lang ang tao, the exclusivity is an advantage for a trader. Mas mabilis ang system, mas mabilis kang ma-process. Right? Um, also, ayan, um, try out 2 trade Asia. Right? 2 trade Asia, 25k lang. Napakaganda ng system. Uh, 25k, konti rin lang mga tao. At least 2 trade Asia in, is in between. Right? So, um, speaking of 2 trade Asia, let's thank our sponsor, 2 trade Asia, 2 trade Asia .com. Check them out. You can make a free trial account. Makikita niyo yung system nila. Ang bilis. Right? 2TradeAsia, 2TradeAsia.com It's in between Cole and Timson. Right? Ang, uh, maganda si Timson. I use it really for training. Hardcore training yung nasa PC lang kayo. It's good. But if you are not on your PC naman kasi pag lumalabas kayo lagi, right? Pag nasa labas kayo most of the time, for example, may, may trabaho kayo, may negosyo kayo, you won't be able to trade um, na wala sa PC ninyo, I recommend 2TradeAsia. Mabilis din naman sila. Right? Um, Kimbo Tandok Right. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Okay po ba maging investor ka CHP? Um, 
if you mean na papasok ka pa lang and want to be an investor, as of the moment, hindi. Pero kung wala kang choice, okay na lang. Kung naipit kayo kay CHP, okay na lang. Wala tayong magagawa. Anytime soon, magre-recover naman yan si CHP. And they're doing good things right now. Ang problema lang kasi talaga is, when is CHP gonna recover? Yun yung tanong eh. Um, but so, somehow, um, that that question should have been your concern kung pumasok kayo sa 12 pa lang or right? when siya magkaka-recover. We don't really know when is it gonna recover kaya umabot siya hanggang dos. Right? And now, dos na lang siya, it's showing signs of recovery. So, sa dos pala siya magre-recover. Had you known that, dapat lumabas na kayo noon, di ba? So, what la, wala, iba, yung iba walang choice eh. So, CHP, kung ipit kayo dyan, maging investor kayo, um, I strongly recommend mabaw, nabawasan nyo na lang yung pera nyo dyan kay CHP. Lagyan nyo lang kay ISM. Right? Not to hype ISM. But I'd rather put my money in ISM pag sila na ang naging third telco kasi mas sure ang growth doon. Right? Bernadette Abiyog, mas maga, what I mean is mas maganda mag-invest doon compared kay CHP. Right? Bernadette Abio, good morning Sir Lloyd. Thanks for the seminar. I'm learning a lot. You're welcome Bernadette. Um, Jerome Kamboa, Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning. Nagchupet ako sa ISM and I want to put another position planning Poppy. Maganda naman si Poppy ngayon. Antayin lang natin yung bounce. Actually, dalawang green na si Poppy, di ba? Let me double check Poppy. Thank you so much um, from Luger11 for that tip. Right? Thank you so much. Right? Malaking tulong nito. This is greatly appreciated. Uh, nga pala guys, if you want to support the channel, you can consider also tulad ng ginawa ni Luger11 and um, Super Chat. Uh, there's a dollar sign there beside the smiley. And may dollar sign dyan that will help the channel in return. As you know, Financial Phenom 101, itong uh, live streaming na ito, this is all on my shoulder, right? Li libre lang ito. The equipments and everything. So, if you want to help me out para makakontinue kitong program na ito, uh, you can consider doing Super Chat. If hindi, uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you can send me a message. I can give you my bank account if you want to help the channel. Right. So, um, it's 8.43. It's time to start our topic. I'm gonna start with, um, stop with Jerum lang muna and then we'll go on, uh, no, we'll go on to your comments in a while. Right. The topic for today is uh, how to check the fundamentals of a company. This is very important, especially sa mga nagsisimula pa lang. Well, even in trading, right? Um, my bias, turo ko na sa inyo, I teach this in the seminar. But my bias in trading para mas malaki ang chances ko of winning is number one, really number one, fundamentals of the company. Una yan sa bias ko. Second bias ko is the fair value. Is the fair value good, better, or it's par value? Uh, is it cheaper? The price right now, is it cheaper than their far, par value kung wala pa yung fair value access? Right? That's number two. Right? And number three is the technical analysis. So, hindi lang basta-basta technicals. You have to check the fundamentals of the company first. So, tuturuan ko ngayon, kayo ngayon, how to check the fundamentals and i'm gonna go down some mga comments para along the way if ever may questions kayo um uh, mababasa ko niche mar sir about third telco naman yan sir question po may nagpapatanong bakit daw isa lang ang kailangan ng additional telco we're in let's sa laki daw ng pilipinas dapat daw at least meron tayong three to five telcos sa bansa right ah uh, sige before we go to that topic to the topic ah uh, answer mo natin si Edna, right? Because this is the ano eh, um, ito yung mga ginagawang mga uh, what you call this, rebuttal na mga hindi nakasakay kay ISM. So, sadly, yan. So, um, yes, it can be four or five. It's just that, let's start with three first. Hindi pa nga natin na subaybayan ng maayos yung three tas gawin na kaagad nating apat lima right for the government this is just wise it's always in any business in any undertaking you have to start small once stable na si third and then hindi makita natin na hindi talaga kaya ni third na um we'll go to the fourth pero start small right kasi pag linima kaagad yan ng government sino mamomonitor nila right it will be really hard to monitor kung marami ka agad. Let's wait for the third one to stabilize first and then we can consider the fourth and the fifth. Right? Fourth muna and then after the fourth, then we go to the fifth. Right? Ganyan lang. Wag, don't, it's always wrong. Even in starting a business, it's always wrong to start big ka agad. Right? In the government, if you want to try something out, try it small as small lang muna. Right? Nakita niyo yung bataan na power plant, nag-nuclear power plant, malaki kaagad, nasayang lang. 
right? Baka maging ganyan din ang third telco, di ba? So, ma- baka maraming masayang kung hindi, hindi mapagtuunan ng pansin. So, as much as possible, concentrate first on small, uh, uh, while you're small, right? And then, let the third one stabilize before you go to the fourth. Um, Brilliant Encore, paano po makikita ang par, par value? Par value is nasa, ano naman yan, nasa edge ng, uh, nasa research. Also, um, fair value si call. That's one of the reason why I still have call even up till now. Right, so, um, let's talk about the fundamentals now. We'll go on forward sa mga questions nyo mamaya. Right, um, it's about, really, um, choosing a stock is about evaluating the big picture. Always look at the big picture. Don't ever jump in a company blind. Hindi porket um, nirecommend ko ito, papasok ka agad kayo, right? Hindi porket nirecommend ito na isang guru sa isang sa isang group or ibang guru din sa ibang group. Hindi porket nirecommend nila ito, papasok ka kaagad, right? Don't ever jump in a company blind. If you don't have any idea what's going happen to that, what's going to happen in that company, then you have no business. Yet you have no business there. If you don't know the company, don't buy their stocks. Why? Why do I tell you this? Because if you enter the stock, you have to have conviction in entering the stock. Nangyari ito kay ATN. Sabi ko sa mga tao, uh, you have to really look at the... You have to really know ATN. Para huwag kayong ma-shake off. Pag bumaba yung stock na yan, yung iba nagbebenta ka agad. Si ISM nga eh, di ba? Pag bumabagsak ang, ang stock, nagliliparan ka agad, nagbebenta ka agad. That's because you don't have conviction in the fundamentals of the company. That's why you're going out. Kay IRC, ang dami nagbibitawan. It's because they don't have conviction in the company. Di ba? Kay IRC, di ba? Bumabagsak si IRC, Nung bumagsak, binili, binili lang ng mga nakakaalam talaga ng company. Right? So, ISM, nangyayari din yan tuwing nagpo-pullback. Guys, sabihin ko sa inyo, if magpo, kung ibebenta nyo sa ISM, I'm gonna be happily buying your stocks. Right? This is an opportunity to buy the stocks uh, at a cheaper price. I don't really know if it's gonna go even further down. So, opportunity na yun to buy it at a cheaper price. It's really like that. You have to have conviction. I'm talking about conviction. You have to have conviction in entering the stock. Para kung mag-pullback man yan, hindi kayo matatakot because you're in it for the fundamentals, especially sa mga investors. Um... Yan, fundamentals. Uh, let's go to the next slide. How do you fundamentally qualify your prospect, your, your stocks? Right? Anong stocks ang mga ilalagay nyo sa watch list nyo? I will teach you how to make a watch list doon sa seminar ko. Right? How do you put the companies there? You have to fundamentally qualify it. How do you fundamentally qualify it? Use the GEMS technique. G-E-M-S-S is ab- the abbreviation for G, growth. E, earnings. M, management is solid. S, superior products and services. And the second S is superior finances. So, uh, one by one right now, uh, I'm going to be explaining what these means and how do you check it out. G, for growing industry. Right? Dapat, before nyo ilalagay ang uh, lipat ko lang yung mukha ko guys ha kasi natatakpan right kasi yung setup ko dyan sa slides is really for uh, para sa ano eh para to sa seminar right so yan um, G dapat before nyo ilagay ang company sa lista nyo dapat tingnan nyo yung G pag check yan check ang E check ang M check ang S check ang S pasok yan sa lista ninyo right Doon mo ilalagay yung company niya. For example, si JFC. Tingnan ko ang G-E-M-S-S ni JFC. Check siya lahat. So, I'm gonna put JFC in my list. Doesn't mean na bibilin mo kagad si JFC. Fundamentals will tell you what stocks to buy. But technicals, te- technical analysis will tell you when to buy it. That is where, that is when technical analysis comes in. Right? When do you buy it? Ask the technical analysis. Should you buy the stock? Act the fundamentals. That's the difference between fundamentals and technicals. Right, so now, G. What is G? Growing industry. Yung industriya ba ng kompanya na tinitingnan mo is a growing industry. Like the telco, napaka-baby pa ng telco industry natin dito sa Pilipinas. Right, We're one, we, are one, we are one of the worst tel- telecommunications company dito sa Pilipinas. Karamihan na ng mga tao ngayon may... Uh, May pera na and can afford sa internet. Majority of the Filipinos are already uh, already has access to um, 
uh, to stock market. I get I got bashed for this na sinasabi ko mga Pinoy, may pera na. I am from Mindanao, napaka-probinsya ng lugar namin and there there are Filipinos there na kaya naman, right? There is always access to resources. It's just that ang problema lang talaga ng Pinoy is kulang ng education how to manage their resources. They don't know how to invest time. They don't know how to invest their earnings pag may may, may kita uh, bin, um, binibenta kaagad. But that's for a different topic. So G, growing industry is that company in a growing industry, right? Telco is a growing industry. Real estate is a growing industry. Ang dami pa industry na really growing, right? Um, how do, ang check nyo lang dito is if the com- if the industry is doing bad already, then that's when you consider G as an X, di ba? So, walang G kung pangit yung industry. How do you know if the industry is going down? A good example of this was um, Kung alam niyo story ni Globe uh, ni ECP dati, hindi si Globe, si ECP, si easycall.ph kung nabuhay pa kayo noon. Right? Sa mga panahon na mga buti, bata pa ako. Hindi, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kung if meron before the text message era, before na uso ang text message and ang text noon is Telegram and before the, uh, after the Telegram is digital Telegram na. That is that is called the beeper. Right? Um, sa mga hindi nakakaalam ano ang beeper is, let me try to Google how what a beeper looks like. Right? A beeper. Ayan. This is what a beeper looks like noon. Right? Ito na yung cellphone dati. This is the text messenger dati. Right? Uh, view, open image, open image, new tab. Right? So, this is what a beeper looks like. Right? So, let me zoom in. Right. Ganyan ang text message dati. And linalagay yan sa belt ng tatay natin. So, yan. This is a beeper before. Right? Sa so, ECP, yan yung negosyo ni ECP. Easy call, uh, Easy call Philippines. Yan. Beeper. Napakaganda nito dati because this is the only text message. Right? But when the cell phone started, cell phone era started at nauso na ang uh, na yung text that telegram uh, the telegram business the digital telegram business started to fall down and that that industry of the telegram died it was not a growing industry anymore right so pag ganyan ang situation pag bagbagsak na industry na yan get out of it yun lang if it's in a growing industry then check there hindi porket check ang green papasok ka na kaagad now you have to check the company E. Let's go to E. Earnings. How do you check the earnings? Meron naman si edge.pse.com. Tingnan niyo yung earnings, especially the annual earnings. Right? Uh, let me... Uh, sige, alam niyo naman yun eh. So, you have to check the annual earnings para mabilis lang. is 8.54. You have to check the annual earnings. Right? Is, is their annual earnings increasing? Is it better compared to last year? Not just to last year. At least two years back. Right? Pagpalaki ng palaki yung earnings nila, then that company's earnings is good. That means they are earning. Malaki, maganda yung kita nila, yung net income nila. Titignan nyo is the net income. Right? Is it in, is it bigger compared to last year? Right? Number two, titignan nyo is the growth significant. How do you know if the growth of the earnings is significant? Tignan niyo ang percentage. If it is double digits, meaning 10% above, then that's a significant growth. Kung negative naman siya, meaning nag, um, at least it's still doing well pero not that much, right? Kung negative siya, uh, kung break even lang. Kung negative naman, how do you know if the negative is uh, substantial? Still the same concept. If it's negative 10 onwards, meaning pangit ang ginagawa ng company, that's bad. There's something wrong with the company, it, it might go down. That's the signal that the fundamentals of the company is not good as of the moment, right? So you have to check the earnings also. Pag positive yan, then good. Check on E. Pero wag lang earnings and growing, growing industry. Tignan nyo. Tignan nyo rin si M. Management is solid. The reason why the Dennis Uy stocks are going high right now, it's because Dennis Uy is getting in them. He's one of the hottest managers right now. This is one of the reason why PSE requires companies to report if they have any management changes para makita ninyo. How do you check? if uh, You have to check the manager. 
Right? Sino yung CEO nila ngayon? CEO. I uh, mean, the changes. You have to check them out. If you know the person, um, alam niyo yung track record niya, then good. Um, but if you don't know the person, you can always Google it. It will be, it should be, you should be very vigilant about it. Kasi, um, this can, uh, this can cause the downtrend of a stock, really. Right? Pag, for example, um, yan, yeah, nakita niyo na uptrend. Pag si Dennis Uy pumapasok, usually umakit na stock. For example, si JFC, yun, si JFC, nag-change ng management and uh, naging CEO nila, si Kalata, get out of it. <laughs> right? So yeah, you have to know the uh, the history of the manager. Tingnan yung previous companies niya, um, yung mga previous companies na hinandle niya, did it fly? Did it do well under his under his command? If that's good, then that manager is good. So you have to check that also. M, management is solid. If check yan, check na yung GEM mo. You now go to S, superior products and services. Ayan, superior products and services. What are their products and what are their services? Right. Even sa mga maliliit na mga investments, dito nga sa, sa stock exchange, um, I always check the products and services, di ba? Ano ba yung products and services nila? Pang, uh, pang healthcare lang, mga glutathione, right? Familiar? Yan. Um, I have so many friends asking me about inviting, even inviting me to join networking groups. Or nothing about networking companies. There are networking companies which are good. But before you enter, guys, wag po yung earnings lang ang titignan nyo kasi yung earnings ang pinangahaylo nila sa inyo, pinangluloko nila sa inyo para mag-invest kayo sa kanila. It's not even investment. You're paying for the membership. It's not an investment. Come on. But yeah, you have to check the products and services. Number one, right? Very important. Are their products and services easily sellable? Pero kung vitamins lang naman yung binabenta nila, ang hirap niyan. Right? Ang hirap niyan. You have to know if their products and services are good. If maganda naman products and services, then that's a check there. Right? This is, um, this is, kung sa JFC nga, hirap yung mga tao na mag-invest. Ano pa kayo sa mga networking na pa vitamins, vitamins lang. Di ba? Huwag yung earnings lang ang titignan nyo. Right? Even in, uh, even in other investments. Right? You have to watch Shark Tank. If you want to be a good investor. Yeah. Ryan Jimenez, thank you for subscribing. Guys, there's one program I want to recommend to you guys. If you want to be a good investor, watch Shark Tank. Tignan nyo paano nila usisahin ang isang company before sila mag invest Right? Invest like how the good, uh, the, the good investors, uh, how they invest. Check Shark Tank. Check, check nyo sa YouTube. Right? Ang ganda ng program na yan. It will teach you about investing. Right? Um, Shark Tank, yun. Um, superior products and services. Pag check yan, then check na rin. Lastly, superior finances. Ito yung utang nila. Tignan nyo yung utang nila if lumiliit every year. Annually, lumiliit ba yung utang nila? You can, sa, sa, sa financial report nila, andyan naman yung liabilities, di ba? Tignan niyo kung lumiliit ba. Pag lumiliit, then that's good. Meaning, they're handling their finances well. Pag hindi lumiliit, meaning hindi nila nababayaran yung utang nila, that's a red flag. Now, pag lumaki, that's another red flag. right? But, check nyo rin bakit lumaki. Baka may, may project silang ginawa that year na napakalaki requiring, requiring them to loan. Kaya malaki lumaki yung liabilities nila. That can be good. right? But you have to check that out. This is one of the reasons why Double Dragon, even if it's sh showing us good numbers, pero yung utang nila, hindi naman nila nababayaran. That's one of the reasons why Double Dragon was... Uh, going down was dipping, right? But right now, Double Dragon is doing well already. And then it's uh, timing lang na bearish yung market, so nahihirapin sila mag-recover. So yeah, this is fundamental. So you have to check this out. Check G, check E, check M, check S, check S. Pag check ito lahat, sulat mo yung kumpanyang yan sa watch list mo. But don't buy it yet, right? You have to check the fair value. Um, then the third bias na sinasabi ko sa inyo, which is the um, technical analysis. That is when you will buy it. Right? So, that's the lesson for fundamentals. I hope it was clear. Um, meron, um, do you have any questions about it? Let me check. Uh, super ganda na Shark Tank. We love Mr. Incredible Idol. Yeah. Kaya nga kakalbo rin ako eh, di ba? <laughs> right? Justin Salvador, yes. Char watch Shark Tank. You'll know how the good investors, paano nila, paano sila talaga tumitingin sa isang kompanya before sila pumapasok. Right? You should have that vis uh, vision to, I mean, uh, point of view to, right? So, oh, that's a very good, ano, um, that's a very good 
pro, uh, that's a very good uh, program. I watch Shark Tank 2, Sir Lloyd, British version is Dragon's Den. Yeah, totoo, Dragon's Den. Ang dami dyan. Even from um, Lu, uh, Lawrence Legad, good morning, Sir Lloyd, from Oroqueta City, Mindanao. I am from Mindanao too. I'm from Lopezaina. So, silingan lang tayo. Sunod lang sa Oroqueta City, Lawrence. Right? I'm from Lopezaina. Right? It's a very... Uh, Napakahirap na mga tao dyan. But I tell you, there is always opportunity there. Whenever I go there, right? Um, daming opportunities na mga tao. It's just that ang mga Pinoy, kulang lang na education talaga. Opportunities are always there. Um, check 5-year trend net income statement of company. Yes, yeah, Zigward. At the most, check the 5 years. Right? Minimum lang yung at least 2 years lang titignan mo na trend. Right? 3 years kasi this year, last year, and the last year. As much as possible, let look at the 5 yeah, year trend net. Right? That's for blue chips. Kaya nga naging blue chips sila because they've been very consistent for a long time. Right? Di pa kami na panganak Sir Lloyd. <laughs> Alvin Lee, pager era. Yes, those are the pager era. So, mga nakaabot doon, yung mga tatay nyo may mga pager. Right? I agree. May kaya ang mga Pilipino money management lang talaga. Kulang NC, Head Start Rio. If third telco doesn't live to its promise, it will lose 24 billion to the government. That is true, but that is if third telco doesn't live up to its promise. So that's nothing. Um, if ever mangyari yan, you can always get out. But as of the moment, don't let that something na hindi pa nga nangyayari stop you from earning in ISM. ba? So, Nelson Uy, nakita nyo ang ANC, puro excuses lang daw ang motion filed. Ah, ganito. Right, let's talk about that. May oras pa naman. It's 9.02. Right, so, um, I talked about this sa, uh, sa daily, uh, this sa daily grind, sa chat room ng, ano, ng, the Billionaires Club yesterday. If you haven't joined the chat room yet, download Discord. This is how Discord looks like. And then once you downloaded it, go to this video again, yung pinapanood nyo ngayon. At the description, meron dyang Discord group and then my link. That's the invitation link. The group is free. Just click on that and automatically makakapasok na kayo pag may Discord na kayo. We talked about this. Um, Why do I think, I gave out my idea yesterday. Why do I think um, malaki na ang chance ni ISM? And ito, most of the people, yung mga natatakot, they thought that the motion for reconsideration is to present na, uy, yung kulang namin noon, andito na, so pwede na kami pumasok. No, that's not what the motion for reconsideration purpose is. The motion for reconsideration's purpose is to explain to uh, to the uh, to the judges, to the courts, why the reason, what is the reason, bakit kayo na delay ng requirements hindi yung um it's not about uy may requirements na kami pwede na kami pumasok no it has it is uh yung emotion niyo iisasabihin niyo sa court is why we were delayed and is the reason valid you have to defend that your reason is valid kasi pag hindi naman valid ang reason mo bakit na late ka then you won't be granted the motion for reconsideration. And then this is where the part I think hindi makakapasok si PTNT and si Sir. Because what are the reason bakit hindi nakapasok, uh, hindi na kompleto ang documents ni Sir? Hindi umabot yung check nila. Right? Hindi pa nalabas na meron na talaga silang pera. And they said na meron na. Um, it's just that nasa bangko pa. Right? Bakit hindi mo ginawa Noon pa yan na ginawa naman ni Miss Latel or nila Yudena. Nagawa nila yun eh. And so that's not reason enough to put you in the race, in the bidding. Because kasalanan nyo yan. It's not a valid reason. Excuse yan ng mga absinot or yung laging mga late. Diba? So that's why they were... Um, hindi sila na grantan. Si PTNT naman, ang, ang rason naman ni PTNT, ang um, kulang namin is the clearance from the NTC. Ayan. So, um, meron kaming clearance dapat, pero hindi pa nare-release. We filed for it two weeks ago. Bakit hindi nyo final yan ng mas matagal pa? Clearance yan. Dapat may chinacheck pa ang NTC before mabigay yan. Yung rason nila, we already filed it two weeks ago, hindi pa lumalabas. Bakit hindi nyo final? Earlier. Months before, alam nyo matagal lalabas yan. So, it's not a valid reason. Again, totoo yung sinabi ni Secretary Rio. Hindi naman, yung motion file nila ng mga excuses are very lame excuses. Because it's gonna be unfair for those na ginawa talaga, um, prepare talaga, which is Ms. Latel and Udena and China Tel. 
they prepared their documents. Right? May panahon naman eh. They were given so much time. Right? And then, hindi nila napasa. That's why, um, I don't think, ano pa, um, nasabi nila na rason nila eh. They are gonna be looking for another reason kasi na-deny na sila. That's gonna be another 10 million to really defend themselves again which is hindi pa tayo sure kung tatanggapin ng korte ngayon ang rason nila. So, they have to really show bakit valid ang reason nila, bakit na-delay sila. It's not about, um, court, ito yung requirements namin. Pwede na kami sumali ulit. It's not about that. It's about proving why your reason, bakit na-delay kayo, is valid. For example, ano bang valid na mga reason? Na-submit na namin, hindi nyo lang nakita. Right? So, I file a motion for reconsideration. Sir, in reality, na-submit na namin. Right? Ito lang. Right? Or, for example, ito, um, uh, for example, uh, ayun, yun isa sa mga malaklakas na reason talaga eh, right? Hindi lang nakita na, ng government, but nasubmit na namin. Yan. Yun isa sa mga rason na nagiging valid. But right now, excuses lang ang pinapalabas nila. Totoo ang sinabi ni Sir Rio, um, yeah, I don't think they will be uh, they will be considered because of that. Right? So, that's my two cents. If you wanna, if you have any idea about it, post it in the comments. Sir, na po yung support ni ISM. It's really hard to say the support of ISM right now. <laughs> Wala siyang support. Actually, okay, sir, thank you for your um, good reply. Sir, kamusta na po ATN? Let's check that out in a while. Sir, saan po makikita yung par value ng value na stock? Makikita sa Edge PSE. Tingnan yung financial, I mean, yung ano ng company. Right? Um, I'll make a video more about that in a while. Right, um, projected price ni ISM at CLC, thir sir, thanks. All right, um, so while we, uh, let me check that out. So, open ka na, it's 9.07. So, tignan na natin yung charts sa mga request ninyo, guys, right? Um, let me just log in on my Timson kasi yung Timson yung ginagamit ko to check the projected price. Right, 8.21 projected price ni open ni ISM. So, that's a very good opening. So, so um, normal, normal growth ni ISM, which is what I like. Right, hindi kasi anong over, uh, over exaggerated yung akyat ni ISM. It's just, I think, for 5% to 10%, which is good. It's a healthy climb, right? Hindi tulad na on na nagsisiling talaga. Right, so let me open the market. Um, projected price. Alright, let's open this up and let's go for the percentage change and then I'm going to share my screen really quick. And so, BC, um, Benguet Corp, 11.3. MRC is going to go up today sa opening at least with Food and JGS. Metro Bank, uy, si Metro Bank. Very good opening for Metro Bank. Yeah, Metro Bank, pero maliit ang volume. MRC has good volume. 1.83 um, million, 622 value. 622,000. ISM, 1.36%. 8.21 ang projected opening niya. Pero maganda pa rin yung volume, 200,000. It's not exaggerated, which is what I like about it. Right? Um, sir, paano kinocompute yung projected price? If may malaking percentage change sa opening price, do you think we should buy it? No, I don't think you should buy it. Um, let it make a price action first for the daily chart before you want to enter. Um... Um, how to compute for the opening? Um, this is the average of all, di ba? 9 o'clock, pwede na mag-submit ng mga orders ang mga tao, di ba? At 9 o'clock. And then, some will sell, some will buy higher. Now, at 9.30 exactly, lahat ng um, trades na pwedeng mag-meet, uh, i-execute yan. At what price? The, um, the opening price. Kasi i-average yan eh. Kasi yun depending on the uh, um, buy and sell right so we can't really tell magkano right but the pro uh, the system tells this to us automatically right um ano ba yun? sir ano reason hindi na para hindi sila makakuha maging third telco sa, ang ISM anong pwedeng rason hindi sila makakuha ng third telco um baka may requirements for the roll out, di ba? Di ba may kailangan ng government? Like, for example, for the first five years, dapat ito na yung mabigay ninyo. And then, dapat sa proposal nila, na-meet nila yan. So, if ever their proposal meets the um, government requirements, then magiging sila. Pag meron silang hindi makaya sa requirements ng government, that is when the second 
bidder will be open. Pero as of the moment, the sole bidder lang talaga is ISM. So, wala pala, wala pala talaga. Support at sa 5-15 minutes at early chart, pwede, pwede naman. Konti na lang magbibenta, yes. Konti na lang nagbibenta kay ISM. That's ISM stabilizing, right? Sir, tingin nyo kay X, ilang monitors mo, dalawa ang monitors ko, just tryin. Um, Sun, uh, Sunish Music, Sir, Seb, laki ng binaba. O nga eh, mga blue chips ngayon, laki pa rin ng binababa na mga blue chips ngayon, right? So, it's still a bearish market. Um, so, konting ingat lang muna. The original, Sir Lloyd, I believe third telco choice will be the best one kasi hindi ito minadali ng government. In fact, this is one of the priority of President Duterte. Yes, one, this will be the biggest legacy of President Duterte. To us Filipinos, pag naging maganda ito, um, he's gonna be remembered for this. Right? Um, hindi lang for the magiging third telco, for the coming telcos then. We will have a good standard. Yan. Sa mga susunod na telco, kailangan nila i-match si third telco to really be uh, to really be good. So, it's gonna be a big challenge for the other telcos. Right? So, yan. Um, let's go to your requests. Um, if you have any questions, post it on the comments. Si ISM daw, tingnan natin um, anong pwede natin gawin kay ISM. Sa mga hindi pa nakapasok, I told you how many days pumasok kayo, mag-test buy kayo. Let me just remove these things. Right? Um, two... Um, load chart layout. I'm gonna be loading my chart, right? ISM, right? CDMW yung ganda na earnings, kaso nga lang bearish yung market, so really walang gaano pumapasok, right? Pa bakit hindi ko na nafo full screen to? Dati na nafo full screen ko naman ito, eh. Baka may changes na ginawa siya, no? Right? For ISM, let's look at the one minute chart. It's gonna open at 8.21, right? For 8.21. Right there. So, 8.10, it's gonna close at 8 point, uh, open at 8.21. That's a gap up. Right? That's a gap up. Um, hindi naman gaano malakas yung momentum. So, baka mangyari din ito na kahapon na nag-fill ng gap. There was a big gap right there. And then, nag-fill ang gap. So, it might happen again today. Um, as much as possible, wait for it to go near 8.10. Wag nyo na antayin sa 8.10 yan. If it goes up and then if you see a retracement and then bounce, that will be your entry point. Wag nyo hahabulin muna sa taas sa opening. Masyadong exaggerated pa yung galaw in the opening. That's the amateur hour, tawag nila. So, try to wait for it to retrace before you wanna enter, right? If you wanna enter. And then, at these are on one day chart. This is FOMO levels na guys, ha? Right? Ang problema kasi, pag umakyat pa yan, at umakyat. Mafufomo na kayo na mafufomo and then to a point na magpapanic buying na kayo. Ang gagawin nyo is just test buy para bawas sa FOMO. Pag umakyat yan, okay lang. At least kumita kayo ng konti. Wait for the retracement before you wanna buy more. Right? Ganun lang ang gawin nyo. Right? Mamaya na kayo mag all in pag sila na talaga ang na-announce. But the volume is increasing so mas maganda ito. This is still bullish. Yes, RSI is going up but we are looking at the price action. In the end, it's the price action that tells us if the company is still going up, it's not the RSI. This goes beyond technical analysis actually. It's because, um, ano tawag dyan? Um, because uh, this is f uh, fundamentals based, catalyst based ito eh, right? It did a breakout and the previous strong resistance. That was a very good accomplishment for uh, ISM. When it broke, uh, 7.89 na resistance, right? Um, 8, actually 8 yung resistance nito kahapon, nasa 8. Right? So, when it broke that, it did a breakout, wala na tayong resistance, you can do, use this as your base. Sa mga traders na gustong pumasok, you can use this as your base and then just get out if it breaks that. Right? So, ISM is good. Sabi mo, sir, 50 pesos na kami papasok. Hindi ko sabi, 50 pesos na kami papasok. <laughs> right? Baka 50 pesos na kami makapasok. Right? If ever, antay kayo ng entire ng retracement. I told you, we can't assure any retracement here. Yes, on normal stocks, it's best to enter on a retracement. But this is not a normal stock. Right? This is the third telco. So, no, sir, ano yung FOMO from Zigward? FOMO is fear of missing out. Very good question. Ito lang pag-usapan natin. It's 9.15. It's the fear of missing out, right? Ito yun sa Tagalog pa, naku, umaakyat na, baka maiwan ako, sila kumikita na, pasok na lang ako, kahit walang plano. That's FOMO. That's bad. Right? You have to enter with a plan. Ang plan na sinasuggest ko sa inyo, just get in with a test buy, right? And then, just buy more on the next retracement. For example, kung aakyat man yan, mag-open lang ako ng paint. Um, let me just open it. 
right? 8.21 naman yung projected opening. Um, yung price niya ngayon dito, um, let's go to the 1 minute chart. Right, so this is the 1 minute chart niya. Let me just zoom in. Hindi na mga full screen eh, back. I don't know why. Um, let me just get a screenshot of it. May oras pa naman tayo. This is, everything is impromptu guys. So, pasensya na if hindi ko napaghandaan yung mga, um, yung mga tools. Right? But yeah, I'm doing my best. Alright, so let's put it here. Yo, so here, um, ang plan nito is 8.21 siya mag-open. Um, let me, let me change this to white. 8.21 siya mag-open dito, 8.21. Right? Um, I don't recommend buying that at there. If umakit man yan, wait for it to do a retrace, baka mag-fill pa ng gap. This is the best area to buy it at around 8.15. Around that area, 8.15. That will be your entry point. Mag-test buy lang kayo dyan. Huwag po kayo mag-all-in. Please, don't go all-in. Don't be greedy kasi pag bumagsak yan, patay kayo. Right? So, be safe. At least, makatikim naman kayo ng gain. That is, let's face it, nahuli na kayo. That's the fact that you need to accept. Nahuli na kayo so you cannot... You don't have the position to really win it all, right? This is, that's why you just test buy. Just in case it goes up, that will be good for you. But if it goes down, at least you still have money. If it goes down, you still have money to average down and enter at a better price, right? Just in case it goes down, may pang average down kayo. But if it goes up, okay lang kasi nakasakay naman kayo. Next entry point, hindi na kasya sa paint ko. Alright, but next entry point is the next retracement and bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan, dito kayo magdagdag. Move your support here. Your cut loss should be here. Right? Pasensya na if hindi nyo gaano makita. But yeah, the the, the point is, um, select lang ako, select ko lang. The point is, teka lang ha. The point is, you enter at a test buy. Gawin kong item. Alright, I hope I'm sharing my screen. Alright, alright, that's good. So, natakpan lang na mukha ko, siguro. Alright, I'm really sorry. Um, I think natakpan na mukha ko yun. Alright, so ganito lang. Um, really, you just enter and a test buy. Right? Test buy lang, dito yung price ngayon. You test buy here, if ever may makita kayong konting retracement dito. Right? Nga pala. Let me clear that out. Huwag kayong mag, huwag kayong mag magbili sa opening. Right? Mah mahina naman yung momentum ngayon eh compared to the other days. So, it will retrace. Try to fill that gap. And then, pag may, may nakita na kayo malapit sa uh, sa price kahapon, that is where you test buy. You test buy here. And then, if it goes up, and then makes a retracement, and then bounces, this is where you add more. Right? Medyo momentum trading na tayo ngayon kasi momentum, momentum trade na yung position nyo. This is where you add. Just make sure if you add, you move your support here. Huwag na ito yung titignan ninyo. You move your support here, huwag na ito yung titignan nyo. That's not your support anymore. The moment you add, you have to move your support there. And then cut loss, ilang percent, around 3% below support. That is where you cut loss. If you add, move your support. That is how you become profitable in trading. Wag mo nang na yung ibang support, right? For, especially for momentum traders. That is your strategy. Or you can be, it can be na investor naman kayo. If you're an investor, this is an investor entry. Just test buy whatever price. If it goes down, then you just buy more. One day chart. Yeah. So you just test buy whatever the price is. If it goes down in the future, you just buy more kung wala namang bad news. That's the investor. Mas less stressful na entry. Depending sa profile nyo. I have an episode about profile. What your profile is if you're a trader or an investor. 919. ADX, very positive. Still 48 pa. Coach Lloyd, okay na po. Alright. Good news everyone, I'm late again si Diesel. Good news sir, pag average down ba ilang percent yung bilhin ng share sa current share? Usually kasi, so for example, I divide, especially for newbies, I divide it to 3, right? So, ang test buy nyo is 30,000, average down mo is 40,000, all in na the next 30,000. Um, I teach more about that sa workshop, sa seminar. So, please join my seminar. I can teach you more in that about it, right? Paano nyo ma-take advantage yung strategy na yan? June, Catalan, meron po bang chance na bumaba board lot ni ISM? Taas na kasi. Um, 
yes, bababa ang board lot niyan pag tumaas ang presyo. Uh, that's normal. Pang long term ba ang MRC? Yes, MRC is a good company. Pwede. Wala na po bang bad news ngayon sa ISM, sir? Meron si Sir, may Apple pa rin kasi. Eh. They might run for the temporary restraining order sa bidding. Right? Pwede nila submit yan. But then again, the government is putting their hands into this. So, baka maliit lang naman yun yung chance na maano yung TRO, yung tem- temporary restraining order with the, ano, with the, what do you call this? With the case with uh, ISM. Ang biggest news na concern na lang natin ngayon, uh, sige, gamitin ko na yung natitirang oras to answer the fears ng mga tao kay ISM. Kasi, kiniklaim talaga ni Ms. Latel that there is a breach of contract between Um, there's a misrepresentation between Digifil and Miss Latel, which, which where uh, dismiss na ng art uh, ng court yon yung motion for reconsideration nila about that, but they can still file a case another case, right? So, pwede pang mangyari yon. But the thing is, ang gusto kasi ng gawin ni Miss Latel ni ni, Digi, ni La Sir is to disqualify at tanggalin yung si Miss Latel. and not be qualified the thir- for the third telco. So, that falls, yung, when it comes to licenses, yung, I mean, yung, fr- uh, yung franchise nila, ang Congress kasi may, ano doon, may hawak. So, Congress will look at the case. Right? And then, hindi naman grounds yon for, ano, for, for removing the franchise of Miss Latel. So, we're safe on that. The best DG Phil can do, really, is if ever, man, may, meron talaga misrepresenta- misrepresentation, is the case is breach of contract and then they can file for damages and pera na lang ang issue right it's not really about ano um it's not really about um canceling their uh, franchise so which is still good for ISM ISM overall ISM still has the uh, I mean Miss Latel still has the upper hand in the case So, yun. Um, that's the case for ISM. It's 9.22. Um, ATN, Sir Lloyd. Sir, mabilisan lang. <laughs> Tingnan natin si ATN. All right. Uh, let me share my screen. Si ATN doing a pullback. This is good. This, uh, diba? Sabi ko sa inyo kapon. We talked about this. I don't like breakouts kasi usually on a bearish market, yung breakout hindi nag-hold and hindi nga nag-hold. It's doing a retracement. This is good. Uh, so, um, lipat ko lang yung mukha ko kasi napaka-disturbo sa chart. Right, so yan. Um, ATN, wait for the bounce. ATN is still very good. Usually, pag nagsispike yan above Bollinger Bands, that's a significant move. There it is, uptrend na siya. Wait for the bounce before you want to get in ATN. Natabunan po. Sorry about that. Um, let me see if meron ako mga questions na mga, um, na mga, na, na miss. Eto, si Ryan Jimenez, si X, may nagtatanong about X. Si X naman, Uh, somehow doing support downtrend pa siya so don't get in um, last two minutes mayroon nagtanong kanina about B core and si B core yun very good move kay B core we have an engulfing pattern right here wait for B core very good volume wait for B core to do a retracement before you wanna get in so that you have a new support right yun yung higher low ang gagawin din yung support before you wanna get in B core good job sa mga pumasok kay B core this is Look at that. Engulfing pattern and nagtuloy-tuloy na siya. Diba? So, that's a very good entry for B Core. Pero ngayon, it's already a missed opportunity. So, wait for it to do a retracement. May nagtanong about Vulcan. Right, Vulcan. Alright, Vulcan. Downtrend pa. So, I don't want to recommend Vulcan as of the moment. Alright. Um, konti ingat mo na kay Vulcan. I, wanna, I want Vulcan to show me good price action as of the moment. Wala pa. Si Green naman. Um, green. Alright, somehow green is still stabilizing. Meron tayong bounce after a small retracement. But uh, I don't want you guys to be really aggressive, right? Let green stabilize for now. Wala pa naman pinapakita maganda talaga si green for the future. Right now, it's a battle of fundamentals. Right, so JFC, look at that. Nag-dip siya. 265 nag bounce lang. That's the bounce we're looking for. This is a good pin bar right here. This is a good avenue to buy more kay JFC. That's a good uh that's a strong buy signal. JFC sustained MA20. So that's good for JFC. Right. So it's 9:25. That's it for today. Right. Um kay ISM guys, you don't have to be really aggressive yet, but you don't have to be really conservative. Right? Again, this goes beyond Uh, this goes beyond ano, technical analysis. I know RSI mataas na, but 
price action is telling us that it's still gonna go up. Makita nyo naman yung opening positive pa rin. So, most probably aakit pa rin ito. So, just look for your entry. Mag-test buy lang kayo. I don't recommend trading it for newbies. Just get in as an investor. Pumasok kayo. Mag-test buy pang gamot sa FOMO ninyo. That fear of missing out. And then, just buy more if it goes down. Right? Kasi hindi natin alam kasi kung aakit yan. Right? So, that's it for today. Please take care of the market. It's still uh, don't be aggressive. It's still a bearish market, right? Sa mga may ISM, congrats. And if it's gonna go up further, then congratulations. If you don't know when to get out, sa mga natatakot, you can sell half. I have a video in the um sa past days. If you haven't checked it out yet, meron doong trailing stop loss. You can do that for your ISM. If ever hindi talaga kayo fully committed and going all in kay ISM. That's it for today. As always, see you tomorrow. Let's get rich together. Bye, guys.